What it looks like here is rocks out in the ocean because what looks like a rock is actually dead coral. The living Elkhorn coral is actually bright orange in color. Rollins College biologist Catherine Sutherland does her detective work underwater, tracking a coral killer. Past 15 years or so, we've seen a 90% decline of Elkhorn coral in the Florida Keys and similar declines elsewhere in the Caribbean. This is me uh, diving on Lou Key Reef. These are needleless syringes that are being used to collect the surface mucus layer. With support from the National Science Foundation, Sutherland is investigating white pox disease. Using some CSI tools, she's traced the culprit to a human source. This is the first example of a human pathogen infecting a marine organism. I determined that the pathogen of white pox is serratia marcescens, which is a bacterium. And I knew that serratia marcescens was a pathogen found in human waste. And so I began a widespread study to determine where the pathogen was coming from and how it was getting to the marine environment. Proper wastewater treatment kills the bacteria, but Sutherland suspects the microbe infecting nearby reefs is leaking from septic tanks. So we have a genetic fingerprint of the serratia marcescens that comes from diseased coral and it matches the genetic fingerprint of the serratia marcescens that comes from uh, untreated sewage. Sutherland says officials in the Keys are working to move more residents onto city sewage systems to protect the clean waters that attract tourists to the area. So if we can bring all the sewage in the Florida Keys through these wastewater treatment plants, we can certainly eliminate a source of this pathogen. Marine biology student Hunter Noren has seen firsthand the devastation of white pox disease. These corals are really important because they protect the reefs and without them the wave action will just destroy the more delicate corals. The state of Elkhorn in the Keys right now is it's sobering. Elkhorn coral is now protected under the Endangered Species Act. Sutherland says if we can cut off the spread of white pox disease at the source, that will go a long way toward giving these important ocean creatures a chance at recovery. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.